What was the biggest challenge you encountered while creating a design and what did you learn from it? Biggest challenge while designing hmm. My biggest challenge while designing was during one of my latest project which is the jetty project in Kuala Kedah. This project is still intended but the design has been accepted and I collaborated with other architects as well. This project is quite difficult because I have to deal with various parties including JT operators, ferry transport, land transport, cargo loading, um, local fishermen, fisheries development authority of Malaysia, and the Malaysia Marine Department. This project also involves transportation circulation. Designing transportation circulation also requires a lot of proposals that I have to make because I have to deal with a traffic planner. It was quite challenging for me as the existing site was very small. After that, I also need to design a strategic human circulation of the JT. Like from the arrival hall to the departure hall and it is more or less the same with human traffic at the airport. Okay, about why I learned from this challenging project is that you have to emphasize how human behavior, local culture and have to study about our site before starting and designing. Inspiration comes in many ways. How do you approach having your inspiration? I once chose Santiago Calatrava as my inspiration. He was an architect and also engineer. His advantage is that when he builds a building, he easily will know how the structure of the building is. However, I really couldn't follow his way so I decided he couldn't be my inspiration because of the way he designed did not fit my soul. And finally, I got my inspiration from Ludwig Miss Van der Rohe and Lee Corbusier who apply a simple and minimalist design. Each design is an idea that came from the mind. Do you have any methods or techniques you use in order to translate the ideas to a functional design? My method is when I get a project site. I will go to the site and first feel how from the factors that are on the site. Take this as the main character for the building I want to propose and what the main activity or purpose of the building is also important information to start the project. After that, the most importantly is what I have studied will make my building only suitable to be on that side. We can say that it is not suitable to place it on other side. Which aspect of a design, in your opinion, is frequently overlooked and deserves more attention from all architects in the industry? In my opinion, when architects design a building, we always overlook a disabled need. However, the authorities nowadays had obliged the architects to emphasize the universal design so that everyone can use the buildings without hardship. If we design a building that is troublesome for the users, we are actually fail as an architect. Modern architecture theory is a style of building that emphasizes function and streamlined form of ornamentation. Which modern architecture theory best describe in your design? I think that the best modern architecture theory that describe my design is minimalism such as the use of glass and etc. However, even I use minimalism style, I still need to make sure that the design can function well and look elegant at the same time. Everyone has a role model in their life. Who do you look up to in terms of architectural ability and why do you adore him or her? If it is about design, I would say that I adore Van der Rohe the most because his style suits my soul 
which is simple but interesting. The first one is Masjid Raudah As-Salihin which is located in Kampung Seri Mendapat, Jasin in Melaka. Um, this project has started constructed in 2018. Uh, this It is being designed to distinct from the common mosque designed in Melaka which are Chinese architecture. So the concept of the mosque is minimalist design and has around 18,000 square feet gross floor area. So the Fedra Properties Sidang Berhad is the client for this project. Next is the interior layout plan for Masjid Rada Asalihin. Uh, so it also have the basic area for a mosque like the mirhab, the ablution area, praying area, toilet and also and also storage room. It is being designed with capacity for up to 1,700 people. So the most uh, being designed not only for worship purpose but also to accommodate uh, Islamic events such as korban, uh, akad nikah and also fardu ayin classes. Okay, next I will show the drawings of the project provided by A.R. Adit Morizuki. So this is the side plan, this is the um, right elevation, front elevation, this is the left and rear elevation with scale 1 to 50. So this is the photograph of exterior views of Masjid Raga Asalihin and this is the interior views of the mosque. Moving to the next project by A.R. Adik Maruziki is Putrajaya Apartment Concept. So this apartment for residential is located in Precinct 17 Putrajaya. It is um, start being constructed in 2017. Uh, and for your information, this conceptual apartment design is for Putrajaya Apartment Competition. Therefore, it has won the first place in the competition organized by Putrajaya Holdings. So the client for this project is Putrajaya Homes. So uh, I'll be the from a giant located in the Lakak Rama Polygon store with a modern contemporary of minimalist and open space. This video has a concept of simplicity and pragmatism with the gross floor area of 2,800 feet square and it is still under the status of a prison. This building consists of a tower with speaker, a bedroom, main play area, open play area, meeting room, kitchen and more. Modern architecture style has been applied by using metal deck roof and perforated chairs of panel as the maker of the exterior. Hotel and Cafe, which is located in Jalan Dutofel Lumpur and still under status of purpose. The container concept has been adapted for this box hotel and cafe designed due to its cost effectiveness, durability, as well as flexibility. The component of this building consists of a cafe, reception, office, and 20 container rooms. This is a mixed use type of building with the gross floor area of 5,000 feet square. The box shape and minimalist style shows that it is an approach of the modern architecture style. Of Clubhouse, Banda Estate located at Banda Estate Milai, is a public clubhouse. The concept of this clubhouse is to provide facilities for the 18 old coffees. It is located on the highest plateau of the site to take advantage of the view and grass. It will also serve as landmark to the development. The design approach is to lay the wooden blocks around its inducting terrain without much disturbance to the hill profile. There are two blocks, namely Club Pavilion and Gopher Village Pavilion which are oriented to gain maximum view to its surrounding. The arrangement of train blocks are done according to the flow of the purpose and then purpose upon the arrival from the main entrance gateway. 
this lady used most of the modern materials in relationship between the emperor and the sun shows that this lady has modern architectural elements and characteristics. Manier Low Cost Housing Using steel as its exterior, this building is a apartment or known as a residential type of building with a minimalism design. It is located in Manier Terengganu. This residence consists of three blocks of eight level apartment with 384 units of houses. This building is under the status of proposal where the purpose of the apartment is to help the citizen by providing them an affordable house or low-cost housing. Thus, the aim of this building is to cut down the construction costs by using alternatives to the conventional methods and inputs. Hence, we can see the exterior of the building is using the simple steel pattern and concrete as a wall construction. The modern architecture style can be seen by it and also the flat roof and the simplicity or the minimalism of the form and design of the building itself. Semedi Renovation This building located in Taman Melawa, Batu Cave, Selangor as a residential type of building. The girls building area is 2,000 square meter feet. The house is owned by the AR private client known as NCA and Point N. Therefore, the concept is family-oriented with a modern architecture style of functionalism. We can see the architect includes urban green space where there is clean area of the site, enabling physical activity or relaxation space for the client. It also creates a better insulation for the home. Its status is still under construction stage and expected to be completed this year.